Welcome back. It's May 1st, 2023. I want to talk to you about the April 27, 2023 Eli Lilly press release about the weight loss injection drug terzepatide, also known as Monjaro. It achieved up to 15.7% weight loss in adults with obesity or overweight and type 2 diabetes in the Surmount 2 trials. This is like a year after the Surmount 1 trial where they found that people lost like 52 pounds over a 72-week phase 3 study. So let's talk about this. My name is Reggie. I'm the founder of Fit for Freelance, where I build adaptive business leaders through compassionate health coaching, science-based, and engaging your core values. I want you guys to know what's going on so you know all the weight loss news, how it can affect your plan, your healthcare plan, um, and give you accurate information so you can make informed decisions. Let's talk about it. Munjaro is an injectable medicine for adults with type 2 diabetes. Um, used along with diet and exercise to improve blood sugar, glucose. It was approved by the FDA in May 2022, so about a year ago, um, for type 2 diabetes. And now they are researching it for its weight loss effects. What they found in its Surmount 2 trial, 72-week study over a year of 938 adult participants, um, those taking a terzepatide lost up to 15.7%, which was 34.4 pounds or about 15.6 kilograms of body weight. So that's a, an impressive, giant result. When you're looking at the trial, everyone that was either taking a placebo or 15 milligrams or 10 milligrams, they were all also receiving a reduced calorie diet and increasing their physical activity. So what they're indicating is that the effects of the medication are the effects specifically and not from other factors generally. So they had two different numbers they broke down to efficacy estimate represents efficacy prior to discontinuation of the study drugs. So this is kind of a way that they were showing that the drug works. And this is what they were showing. I put this in a chart for you. I haven't done an Excel chart since like undergrad. So I hope you enjoy it. Average weight reductions over after, oops, 72 weeks with Monjaro. Um, so seven pounds with just placebo, 29 pounds, 10 milligrams, and then 34.4 pounds um, with 15 milligrams. And then the percent body weight percent or a little redundant is above those charts. So that's giant results um, so far is what they're seeing. And then also in the press release, the press release is linked in the description below on YouTube. So you can hear what they're saying directly. If you'd like the treatment regimen estimate represents the estimated average treatment effect, regardless of treatment discontinuation. So it's a little bit more realistic if something happens um, or it's more based on the treatment versus whether the drug works. So it's a little bit closer to reality. And what they're finding here is that they still, um, the percentage of participants who achieved body weight reductions of more than 5%, one in three did that with the placebo. Um, 10 milligrams, almost 80% of people lost more than 5% of their body weight. And then with 15 milligrams, 82% of people. So you're saying it's super effective if you want to lose body weight. And then average body weight reductions with 72 weeks of Munjaro um, with this 3.2%, um, 12.8% with the 10 milligrams of 14.7% uh, body weight. So these are massive changes and it seems to be very effective. And so what they're going to do is they're going to try to take this to the next level to get it approved for weight loss specifically. Um, it has been kind of used off label or primarily as a treatment for type 2 diabetes. But now this is going to add to the regulatory um, ideas that they have to get it approved. There were some side effects, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, constipation, all greater than placebo by about two to three times. So this could be a factor um, with how it is used and if it can work for you. Um, and then what they said, we expect regulatory action as early as late 2023. They have other trials coming out. So I did one on YouTube last year when it's from out one came out 2022, and they also have three and four trials anticipated later this year. So you can stay tuned, click subscribe if you want to see that when it comes out. Let's talk a little bit about what tercepatide is. It's a glucose dependent insulinotropic polypeptide, say that five times fast, and a glucagon like peptide receptor agonist. Um, and I've talked about this a lot with like semaglutide, Wegovy, liraglutide, tercepatide. They're very similar. Um, in their effect. And I have this chart. You can check out the other videos. The links are in the description below on YouTube. These are some of the actions. The GIP is on the right side, GLP-1 receptor agonism on the left. Um, basically what this does, your stomach feels more full. 
slows your gastric emptying. And then another major effect is that it reduces your appetite. Um, so those are two big effects that can have a big impact on um, how you are eating, how are you, if you have food cravings, your appetite um, is going to have a pretty potent effect. Um, so overall, it could be a valuable part of your healthcare plan. I'm not a doctor, so you could ask your own doctor about it, see what they have to say. Um, we do have some questions about it in terms of health coaching and um, informed decisions, things like cost, length of treatment, is it covered by insurance, um, and rebound effects. And this is something I covered before at a step four trial for the semaglucides, so the Wegovi. Um, they had rebound weight gain after stopping the medication. You can check out the video I did on that. That was a really fascinating result that shows that the medication is very effective, but it is usually or so far is only effective as long as you're using it. And that's something I talk about a lot on my channel is that these things don't really change your habits. They change your, your stimulus and then like how you're like drawn to food, your appetite. But in terms of knowing what to eat, how to cook it, making healthier choices, it doesn't impact all of that. So it's kind of like anything that you do for a little while and you quit and then you gain the weight back. Um, so far. So it's very interesting to see what's going to happen with this. I'm going to stay tuned. I'll keep you updated and leave a comment below. Would you get weekly injections to lose weight? We can talk about this. Click like if you've liked this update. I appreciate that. It helps more people see it. Um, and then if you want confidence, realistic focus and accountability, no matter if you're taking these weekly weight loss injection drugs, or if you want more support to improve your, your effect there, um, you're going to want to stay with contact, uh, <laughs> subscribe to my stuff below, check me out and let me know what you think. Cause it's, it's going to be an interesting conversation with it's just um, Jaro as things go forward. So that's today's message. Keep practicing. Peace.